Okay, I think this is take four. I keep messing up my recordings. Welcome to Open Flip Summer 2020. And uh, the site's coming together pretty well. These uh, random images are just the ones that came with a the theme. We'll be replacing that with something a little bit better. Um, actually, I should show you front page. There we go. Forgot to do that in the last recording. So here we go. Here's the front page. Uh, these pictures are going to change. You'll notice that we're doing this kind of left-right set up with English and Spanish that'll, that'll help to have everything in one place. We're going to leave this front page the same for a little bit in case people want to sign up. So uh, that'll stay that way for now and then I'll see what I'm going to do with the front page. Most likely the front page will become uh, blog posts, your blog post and your submissions because that's why we're doing the syndication thing. I'll say right up here front so we don't forget. I need you all to click on this button and then fill out this form. Uh, it'll collect your email so we know who you are first name last name your address of your blog tell me if your blog's in english or spanish twitter id is optional um, and if you would like a copy of the form you can go ahead and click that before you submit so that's that and uh it's also mentioned inside the instructions but i want to emphasize that on the right we've got a search bar that'll be more useful as we go forward all of the content for this course is released under a Creative Commons by Attribution License 4.0. What that means is that you can go ahead and use this content that we're creating for this course. Um, the content that us, uh, myself, Adriana and Viviana are creating for this course, not the individual posts by all of you, the authors. Those are your own, they're your own license. What's covered under my license is uh, the content that we're creating on this course. The videos, these are the introduction videos in English and Spanish. I'll replace these with the video of the week on the sidebar. And then I'm gonna leave these ones up from Dave Cormier, a link to his Twitter there, because these are actual videos. If you haven't watched these, please do. Um, Dave really, really knows like lots. Um, you should follow Dave. So getting started, uh, that's still the same. It's in this format of top and bottom for English, Spanish. I don't know if we'll change that. Uh, set up your Twitter, set up your WordPress or Medium or blog or anything you like. Again, remember, once you've got all this set up, please share it with that form. And then uh, your YouTube channel so you can publish videos. You can do it on Vimeo. If you really don't want to do video, go ahead and, and post uh, audio. Um, you choose what you want to do in this course. That's fine. And then the schedule, let's take a look at that quickly. Uh, my colleague's working on the Spanish version of this right now. Uh, the idea is on Sunday or maybe Monday, but most likely Sunday, I'll release what we're doing this week, okay? And uh, that'll come out Sunday. Uh, all times again are Guadalajara, which is central daylight time for those of you in the rest of North America. And Tuesday to Sunday, work on your stuff, right? Uh, prepare your blog posts. Uh, you don't have to submit it. Just write your blog post, publish it. Uh, you should probably include the video inside the blog post so it's easy to find. Um, and then on Wednesday, we'll do a Hangout uh, via Zoom. I used to use Google Hangouts years ago. We'll do a Zoom session for about an hour where we'll talk about the week's work, what we're doing, what we're thinking about for the content of the week. I will uh, look for colleagues to invite that are experts in the area, and uh, we'll hang out. You can come and hang out with us. You can send questions over Twitter or, or otherwise. If you can't make it, that's fine too. You can watch the videos because we'll record them. Uh, that'll happen on Wednesday in English and actually Thursday in Spanish. This will get translated to the Spanish version. It should say Thursday later. And then the idea is Sunday night you should submit. Now, actually, no. Sunday is kind of the deadline, although Ken's super flexible uh, about submissions. But I recommend submit as early as you can because then other people can see what you submit. and Or you can go and see what other people submit and you go, oh, yeah, I kind of like that. Let me riff off that and do something similar. Uh, or not, right? So um, I really encourage submitting early if you can. And then you can go and comment on people's posts. At the bottom, we've got the layout for the um, seven weeks. Uh, only week zero is set up. The other ones will be coming up as we go along. And so that's the schedule. Let's click on unit zero. That's this week's assignment. This is a uh, redundant uh, pointing you. Please fill out that form. Here's the week zero intro video that I'm recording right now. And then set up your environment. You can go check out the Get Started page, but this is a, a summary of it. Twitter, your blog, YouTube, and then fill out that form. I keep telling you, fill out that form, please, so that I can show your content on our site. What I want you to do 
is give me your thoughts about flip learning, right? Uh, is this new for you? Maybe it's not. Uh, do you have any reservations? Uh, are you really just coming here um, more because of what's happening in this global pandemic? Uh, I don't know what your motivations are, and I'd like to know. And, and, and I think it's a good idea for yourself to reflect on why you came here, of course. And so go ahead and write your blog post about that and your thoughts and make the video about the same. You can read your blog post on the video or you can add libit, you can do something different, you can write a song, you can do anything you want. So um, go ahead with that. And then once again, make sure you fill out that form. I keep pushing this on you uh, to let us know where your blog is so that I can help share that for you. Uh, after submission, then discuss here. It could be as a comment underneath this assignment. It more, even better, is go to different people's assignments and then check them out. And you'll be able to see them because they'll be coming in and showing up on this site. All right? um, go and comment on their assignments. Go and look at their assignments. Feel free to go to Twitter and post on Twitter using the hashtag, hashtag OpenFlip. Hey, I just submitted my assignment for uh, Unit Zero. And you could even hashtag unit zero there and, and send it in, right? And so the schedule, we already talked about that in the uh, regular schedule page. Any questions, contact me. Contact me with my uh, Twitter address. You can DM me. You don't even have to follow me to DM me. I leave that open. Uh, more information about contact here on the contact page. Okay, how to contact me and I've got some information. This is like a copy of the contact page I use for my students actually. This is in English and Spanish. I've got a scheduling system. If you really want to make an appointment to, to meet with me for 15 minutes or so, use that system. Policies, privacy, and comment policy for my pages. I put that on all of my sites. Again, please do this uh, register of your blog. And I wanted to mention our team. So uh, Adriana Ortega is, is a good friend and colleague that I've known for many years. She participated in an early version of OpenFlip. Uh, we did some podcasting together. And um, she's a good friend, and we've done a lot of work together over the years, and I'm glad that she's here with us. Uh, this is Adriana's post about herself. She put it up in Spanish because we wanted this mixed language format. Viviana is interesting. I just met her this summer. She also works at the Tech de Monterrey. Um, I met her through EduCoffee. Uh, we'll talk more about my EduCoffee, and that's why I had the coffee logo at the beginning of the video. Um, I really, really appreciate everything that Vivius, Viviana's been sharing during these months uh, of our COVID lockdown. And I'm so happy to have met her. And here's the information about Viv uh, and information about me. So um, feel free to contact us. Uh, Viviana left her Twitter. I should probably put mine as well in her blog post there. Um, I hope you have an excellent time with this session. Uh, invite your friends. Uh, make a small community of practice, make a small network of people taking this course, because you're not going to be able to see the 150 people that might be participating in this course. You won't be able to see everything. I can't see everything. But choose some, make some contacts, make some friends through this course. Um, I've made a lot of friends through this course. So have fun and uh, feel free to contact me if you have any questions. And looking forward to seeing your work this week. Thanks a lot. Have an excellent week.